Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to update to the newest OS, which is El Capitan. So whether you're in beta version right now or you are just in another OS before this one, um, don't worry about it. You might not see it right away in your app store. So remember to go to your app store. All you guys have to click is on your Apple logo. And from there, you're going to see app store. Okay, so just go right into there. Under updates, you might not see it. Don't worry, you don't have to go in there. Just go into future and right there you guys should see a big sign that says El Capitan. So you guys can click on this or just click down here below where it says El Capitan as well. So right here below, um, you guys are gonna see this and just click on download, okay? So once you guys click on download, it's gonna start downloading. So again, whether you're in beta version or you are in an OS before that, you guys can fully to the full update right now to El Capitan, okay? So this is the full version of it. I highly suggest always making it a machine backup because some of your apps might stop working once you have El Capitan installed on your Mac, okay? So that's what I'm telling you guys to make a backup. I have another video showing you how to revert, so you can always go back, but only if you have Time Machine, or else it's, you can get kind of tricky. I'm not saying you can't, but it gets tricky to go back. So make a backup. Also, it's good to make a backup just in case something goes wrong. If you have a MacBook or something like that, make sure you connect some, some electricity. Um, if you have an iMac, don't worry about it, but just make sure you have enough battery. I wouldn't run this on battery. I would always plug it in, even if you have 100% of your battery, do that, okay? So right now we're downloading it, and then I'm gonna show you the process and the whole stage and everything that you guys have to do. So I'm just gonna wait for it to download. Okay, so for this to download, it shouldn't take more than 30 minutes to an hour. It is six gigs, um, but it really depends on many people are downloading it. And again, you guys can view the speed and everything under purchased, okay? So after a while, you guys should see this and then purchased. You might see your beta version down here below. You might not. Okay, that's all right. We're just gonna wait for it and then we're gonna come back. Okay, so once it's done downloading, you guys will get this pop up. Okay, so all you you have to do is press continue. Okay, again, it depends on your internet speed, how long it takes. Oh yeah, agree. And there we go. So again, this will take some time. I will let you guys know at the end how much time it took. For me, it took about 45 minutes to install, to download, I mean, uh, this new OS. And right now to install, it should take around 10 minutes max, although it does say two minutes, it usually takes 10. All right, so the next step is just to put restart. Okay, so it should close any other applications and then just prepare to start restart. This shouldn't take that long. Like I said, maximum 10 minutes. Then this will restart and we'll see what happens next. So after a bit, you guys should see that logo and installing. So it should take around 30 minutes to one hour to install this, um, depending on your processor. On some computers, it may be even faster. All right, so after a little bit, you might see that your Mac just restarts. So you're gonna see a black screen and then right away, you're gonna get this Apple logo and another loading bar. This loading bar shouldn't take long. It should only take about two, three minutes max. And then you're gonna see this coming up. All right, guys, so your Mac should start up and it's the first thing that you should see. I would just click send just to help out and I would do this as well. It's your choice, you guys don't have to pick those options if you don't want to. And then it's the basic setup, nothing to it. And there you go, you guys are all done. So this is the full version of El Capitan OS X. It's a free upgrade from Apple, once again. And um, yeah, it, as you saw, it's quite easy. It doesn't really matter what OS you guys have right now, you can always update it. And don't forget to make that time machine backup that I told you, or make a backup, okay? Time machine is the best if you guys want to go back. And uh, some of your apps may not work in this new OS. And um, a lot of things that, it, especially if you guys are advanced users, I wouldn't update my Mac if um, I used it for special things and I uh, just want a little bit more than just your basics. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.